So what makes your prayers to always be rejected? Some people have been praying for years and years. And then you notice it's like none of your prayers are being answered. In fact, they are always being rejected. Now, when you pray, you expect three outcomes. Number one, your prayer to be answered. Number two, either it can be delayed or number three, it can be rejected. Ask people like Abel and Cain. Both of them set up sacrifices and the Bible says that the sacrifice by Cain was rejected and the one by Abel was received, was approved. Now this is very common. What would make something to be rejected? What would make God not to respond to your prayers? It's a very simple thing. Bible says in James 3, 4 verse 3 that you can actually pray amiss. You ask but you do not receive. Why? Because you prayed amiss. So what makes a prayer effective? James 5 verse 16 says that the prayer of a righteous man is effective and fervent. And this type of prayer is so powerful. So what makes a prayer to be rejected? Very simple answer. This will change your life for good and this will change how you approach things moving forward. Now, if you are praying and what you're asking for is your own self-will, you will lose it. If you are praying and what you're asking for is God's will. By the way, anytime you pray, ask yourself, what I'm praying for, will it benefit God? Number two, is it benefiting me? If it's for self-orientation, you will lose it. But if it's meant to benefit God's program, you are going to receive your prayers answered as soon as possible. Bible, when Jesus uh, was teaching the disciples how to pray, said, Thy kingdom come as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is God's will being done. It is not your own personal will that is being responded to. Bible says that many are the plans in a man's heart, but only God's purpose prevails. So ask yourself, what I'm asking for? Is it for my own glorification? Is it for me to show off? Is it for me, for people to see that I'm actually doing well? If that's what you're doing, you are not going to get your prayers answered. But if you're asking something for the benefit of God's kingdom, for the benefit of other people, God will always respond to your prayer. Now look at uh, King Solomon. He was asked, why do you need this wisdom? And he said, I want so that I can rule your people. Now look at Hannah. Hannah used to pray for a child and for so long her prayers were not being answered. But the day she changed, the reason why she wanted a child and it became because of God's will, kingdom come, everything changed from there. She said, God, give me a child and this child will be serving in your temple. And that's where her prayer was approved instantly and she got a child. Now, ask yourself, Whatever you're asking for, is it for your own benefit or is it for the benefit of others? God's kingdom is about others. God's will is about others. Is it for the benefit of others? Even in banks, you'll notice, you'll never get a loan approved if it's for your own self-pleasure. If it's an asset you're getting, if it's a business, it's an investment, the bank will finance it for you. But if you go there and say, I need some money because I want to do a party. I need some money because I feel like I need a massage. My friend, self-pleasure, you will never get your answers come. The Bible says in James 4 verse 3, you ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. If you keep asking things for your own benefit, why do you want that car? Is it because of pride? Is it because you feel your status has changed? Why do you want that house? Why do you want a husband? Why do you want a wife? Is it because you want to show people that you have a beautiful trophy wife? My friend, if those are the reasons why you're asking, you will not get. But if you change and say, I need someone so that we can pursue purpose together, so that we can raise a godly seedling and offspring, so that we can help each other. My friend, you'll notice that person will be knocking your door the next minute. My people do not receive 
because they ask amiss. Let it not be for your own self-benefit. Let it be for the benefit of others and the will of God.